All right, this is Rod V from Rod V's Bird Planet. And this here is Jelly Bean, a Moluccan cockatoo. What do you say? Hello. All right. Today we have a message from Melissa from Denver, Colorado. I've actually already replied to this email since this is an actual emergency situation. She has an 11 year old umbrella cockatoo named Oz. Oz was acting a little odd yesterday after cracking a walnut and wouldn't eat another. I noticed the tip of his top beak was cracked and bleeding a little. It stopped bleeding now but must hurt him. He has been on my lap whimpering a little and trying to sleep. Looks like we need to get him to the vet tomorrow. Is there anything they can do about this? I've also attached some photos. Well, with this, this is an actual emergency situation. Birds have very little blood in their body and can bleed to death very quickly. So you want to get them straight to the vet even if you controlled the bleeding. Also, there were these two string-like items hanging from the beak. Those are actually exposed nerves. Very painful for the bird. So you don't want to leave that like that overnight. The vets can actually numb the area and cut those nerves. They can cauterize the beak to stop the bleeding. For a severe loss of a beak, say another bird bit off one's beak, they can actually put a prosthetic beak over that area. And actually allow the normal beak to grow underneath. And that is sort of cemented on. Now, also with these birds, if the beak is becoming that fragile, you want to have blood tests done. There could be an underlying problem, some type of nutrition problem, some type of disease problem. There could be some liver problems with the bird and various other things. So there could be a large underlying issue with a fragile beak or it could be that the beak wasn't maintained properly. It actually needs to be groomed at least a few times a year to keep the proper shape, keep it from cracking and breaking. Well, this was a very good question. I'm glad that you wrote me, and I'm glad the bird's doing fine now. Enjoy seeing these after photos. Pretty bird. Well, she wanted to get her two words in. All right, if anybody has any more questions, feel free to email me at helpmybird at gmail.com or visit my website at birdplanettv.com. Thank you.